What are the advantages of living in the dismal swamp? Free Water by Amina Lukman Dawson. She is an American novelist and likes to write about race, culture, and community. This is her first historical middle grade novel, and she has won a Newbery plus a Coretta Scott King Author Award. Growing up on Sutherland Plantation, Homer, who is 12 years old, and his seven-year-old sister have learned the hard way or by observation to do as they're told and not to ask questions or they may be treated cruelly. They have heard successful stories of slaves running away north, but they've also heard about those who have been caught and severely beaten. Planning to escape, Homer, Ada, and their mother are running toward the dismal swamp in the dark of night. And Homer turns to his mom, what about Anna, our friend? His mom turns back toward the plantation to go get their friend, Anna. She gets caught by the slave catchers and one of the slave catchers knows that the children are running ahead. He follows them and the children are running for their lives and they end up having to jump into a river with a fast current, and they don't know how to swim. And once they get out of that, Homer falls into quicksand, and they're trying to pull him out when, whoom, a flaming arrow shoots into a bush. Where did that come from? Located in North Carolina and Virginia, the Dismal Swamp was about 2,000 square miles of humid, soggy vegetation. Native Americans would flee from Europeans into the Dismal Swamp, and slaves fled from their plantation owners to form maroon communities in the Dismal Swamp. It was a great place for shelter. There were many hiding places. And when you have a lot of plant species, you have a lot of animal species. And that means there was plenty of food. Plants, plus the alligators, the bears, fox, squirrels, and swamps are great for flood control and purifying water. And this was unusual because a lot of times when people are running away, they're destitute and they don't have access to clean water. But in the dismal swamp, they may have had access to clean water. Eventually, Homer and Ada are introduced to the free water community. They learn new skills, they meet new friends, they don't always get along, but they learn to work together to get the job done. However, Homer is worried about his mother. He wants to go back and get her. Amina Lukman Dawson does a great job of incorporating three sub-main characters who are vital to the story. Sanzi, who is a girl growing up in the swamp all of her life, Anna, their slave friend on the plantation, and Nora, the plantation owner's daughter. And between all of their perspectives, Lugman Dawson keeps the reader informed about what's happening on the plantation, as well as what's happening at Freewater and how things are going to progress. Amina Lugman Dawson writes a fun, adventurous story of climbing trees, walking on vine bridges, communicating with signals, canoeing along the river and shooting flaming arrows. Also adding to the excitement are kids traveling without their parents and having to solve problems on their own. Most of the time, children learn that slaves escape to the north, but free water opens up our awareness that communities were formed elsewhere. And Amina Lukman Dawson also emphasizes that survival is dependent on everyone's skill sets, honesty, and working together. Thanks for watching. Keep reading and have a great week.